Hello my friend, this is the second time for this search feature. So the first thing we need to do is the we need to trigger the get product function with search condition. So whenever we made the one more condition like filter by price or filter by continent or we needed to trigger get product function again and again. So now with the search condition. So now we update search term in here in our last video. So we need to trigger this get product function after we update this new search term. So if we type something in here, like okay, just I will do console low and then new search term in here. I will let you see by printing out this new search term. So if I type hello, so we can have this new search term, new search term in here. And then with this new search term, we need to trigger this get product function. And we also need to put uh, this variable uh, inside in here. But this filter uh, needs to be this uh, uh, filter from the state like this. So in here we also need to one more the property name is search term. It comes from new search term there and then in here set skip needs to be zero. Because the whenever we type something, uh, we need to reload all the things from skip zero. So that's why we need to make this one zero. So we need to put this one in here. So we need to put this variable in here like this. So now we need to go to that API. So product route in here. So we need to change this part with this search term. First, we will get the term request a body and search term because it comes from uh, in here search terms. We actually need to make a condition for this one. So first one is if we have uh, this term so we need to put this one in here and if we don't have it put it like this uh, because we need to put one more thing in here so when we have when we type something in here like this we need to use the uh, find method and inside the find method we need to put the text this comes from the mongodb feature so we need to put the search and then term so by using this one and we put this term term is the come from here like whenever we type something like this so uh, if we don't have this one like even though we type something nothing happened but now if we have this one whenever we type something yeah like it has changed so now already we can find it by typing but I want to put one more thing uh, is the inside the product model so we come to inside the model and the product so the below this field which field we want to use for this search feature so when we type this one now we are trying to find something with the name at this title but we also want to use the description for this search feature so uh, right below in here we can do like this index we will use the title this is a text 
and we will also use the description so title field and description field title and description field for the search function and this one is also text and the weight and name is the five and description is the one so this one is more important when we use the search function so first we will find inside the name after that we will find inside the description because this name's weight is a higher than this one so now we define it like this and then we type it again full so it works really well so thank you for watching this video for this search feature so in our next video we will make this product detail page so by going inside this uh, product we will make a lot of things again so thank you for watching this video and see you in our next video thank you